What is up my swordsmen and shield maidens? Welcome back to another episode of Truce Pokemon Omega Ruby Forever Wedlock. This is episode number 36. If you've not seen the previous episode, I suggest you go check that one out first. Get all caught up to date and whatnot. Now, if you guys remember in the previous episode, um, there was a sort of a mix-up. So we started playing Alpha Sapphire for a bit there, um, which is no big deal. It's the same story, just different characters. But today we are back on Omega Ruby playing as Norsey. We've got our team here. And as you can see, the levels from uh, Alpha Sapphire have not crossed over, just like I promised, because that would have been really cheap. Um, so everything's all good. It's like nothing even happened. We don't have to worry about anything. Um, now all we have to do is figure out what we're supposed to do next. Now, I don't remember what that is. Uh, I don't know if you guys do or not. I'm going to start my timer. I haven't forgotten to start my timer in a long time. But uh, all right, so we're on Lily Cove. We fought, we fought Team Aqua and Team Magma, and they wanted to go to the Seafloor Cavern. Right, so... That means we're going to have to get on um, Miss Bowie, which is a perfect name for this situation, because we've got to go surf on Miss Bowie, and <laughs> we got to surf on Miss Bowie and uh, go out here, I believe. So, we have already gotten our encounter right here. Um, I know, I just saw that, that guy in the water there. Yeah, so this is Lily Cove City. So, we got our Lily Cove City encounter. Um, so, we got to get our encounter, what is that, in... Uh, what route is this? Like 123 or something? I, I don't even know. No, we already caught a Pokemon. What route would this be? 124, okay. So I wasn't far off. I said 123. It's not that bad. Alright, so we have some Pokemon we need to train up. Being Quinette and Delta. Um, because they are our lowest two members. And plus they're the partnership. So they're going to rely heavily on each other. Um, something I definitely want to do is turn on the XP share, not off. I want to turn that on. I think Quinette can probably hold our own in this since it is water types. Um, you know, so first Pokemon we run into that's not something we already captured will be our encounter today, which is great. If you float on the sea like this, Pokemon come around to play. I think they come around to beat us up with their pokey moves and stuff. Swimmer Jenny sent out Love Disc. Ooh. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't think Quinette should have any issues with any of these Pokemon because, I mean, look at her. Look at Quinette. She's just so beautiful, she can just beautify them all away. Plus, I'm pretty sure that one good, um, Volt Switch should be able to take them out. If not, I might have just doomed Delta. Nah, yeah, that was fine. That did just, that did perfect amount right there. Um, we might want to start using Discharge and all I think about it, though. I keep forgetting. Unfortunately, McGee Jr. is no longer with us, so there's no longer a strong Pokemon to defend Quinette on the other side of things. We gotta, we gotta train up Delta, which is, uh, eh, what are you? You look like you would be a Tentacool or something. It's so hard to swim slow. Oh, and we're getting battled. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. We can do this, though. Shouldn't be an issue at all. What's up, Roland? C. Leo. Ooh. Ooh. That's actually a pretty bulky Pokemon, now that I think about it. Um, ooh. I don't know about that. Let's see how much a Discharge does to something so bulky as this. Are you holding the Light Ball yet? I remember we picked up the Light Bulb two... Or, Light, light Bulb. Light Ball two episodes ago. But I can't... I can't remember if, um... If we attached it yet, or not attached it. If we gave it to Quinette or not. So let's check that out. Um, Quinette, what item are you holding? That's no way to check. What am I doing? I gotta go to my Pokemon, just like that. Click Quinette and item. No, I wanna, I wanna see what item it is, so I gotta go to summary. That's kind of stupid. It should tell you what item it is. Uh, lightning Rod. That's, no, that's your ability. That's your ability. Light ball, yeah, okay, so we gave Pikachu the light ball already, so that's good. So our electric moves should doing be doing a lot more. What's this say over here? Moss Deep City. Okay, okay. Yes, I would like to continue surfing. Look at Miss Bowie, she's so happy. Hello. Why, hey there. You're getting tired of swimming. How about you get out of the water then? That might solve your issue. <laughs> so we're fighting Wilmer. Uh, we're fighting Grace, who's got a Wilmer. I don't know, but recently I felt like I've had a cold. And uh, I've had like this terrible headache, too. And it 
I had it last night, and it's just return like a return today, and ugh, that's awful. Uh, level 20 Delta, that's good, because you are incredibly low. Oh my gosh, your level is so low, you're only level 20? Oh, gosh. So that does 30, this does 50. I don't think we need to learn that, that doesn't look like it would help us very much. Uh, we can learn an over Fury attack, I guess, but... Mm. Eh, eh. <laughs> let's just for oh no I always do that always do that no let's oh my gosh I guess this is why the stylus would be more helpful because you can actually just click on it but you know what oh well we got ourselves an azumarill to battle let's just stay out here although um delta you know super effective on that fairy type you could do some work but uh you know he's just way way too low we're gonna have to do like a we're gonna have to do a grinding montage sometime for Delta, because Delta is really low. I hate doing grinding montages, they're so boring. They're, they're like the worst, and it's just because you just sit there and you like grind up on like these lower level Pokemon and giving you no XP, and when you know perfectly well, you could just go fight a trainer and you would get so much... Oh, we could, we could dive right there, I think. We didn't encounter any Pokemon there, for real. Hey, do you know what? Do you know what? I do know what. You agree, right? All right, well, maybe we maybe we should find out what. I don't know. Let me explain. Try using Surf with Sharpedo. I'll go. It'll go zooming so fast. It'll make you feel so great. That's actually really cool. So I wonder if that's actually true. Like if you ride a Sharpedo in this game, if you go faster. Are you playing like Lord of the Rings here? Oh, it's a map of Owen. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm the diving treasure hunter. I'm the awesome dude who goes deep sea diving to gather treasures, resting at the bottom of the seas. You haven't gotten any treasures for me. If you see any shards like red shards, uh, you've got to trade them with me. Okay, well that's great. So we pretty much can come here to trade you some shards. That sounds fun. Probably won't be doing that anytime soon. Um, unless we run into a whole bunch next time we go diving, which probably won't be for a while. It looks like our only potential Pokemon we can catch is a Whelmer and a Pelipper, which is really weird because I could have swore we caught a Whelmer before. Um, that's really interesting. Ooh, 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 battle me. Battle me, bro. Foo, 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 foo. I hate how they always say that. I have no idea why trainers say that. It's just the weirdest thing. Foo, 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 foo. Look at this. Nice and first gen Gold Duck. Ugh. I was never a fan of Gold Duck. Um, when I was uh, when I was younger, although he's grown on me a little bit, he looks he, he's all right. But I've never been too crazy about him. He just I don't know. He just looks weird. He looks like he isn't necessary. Like we didn't need him to be a Pokemon. But there's already Pokemon that could have replaced him. But I don't know. He's not bad. So plus in the newer the newer like models of him, he kind of looks cooler than I remember from when I was a kid. But when you were a kid, or when I was a kid, that is. Um, oh look, Route 126. We can still only encounter the same Pokemon here. What the heckles? Anyways, when I was a kid, uh, a lot of like the Pokemon designs were sort of left up to the imagination. At least when you played the Game Boy games, and then when you watched the show, you know you finally and you finally got to see the episode where the Pokemon actually was. You got to see more of it. But like when I was a kid, like the, the from the Pokemon game sprites, it was like they looked nothing like they do today. They were just like I don't know, like Charizard looked really weird and stuff, and it was just all up to your imagination. If you hadn't seen the show or seen the Pokemon on the show yet or anything like that. So yeah, a little bit, a little bit of a story right there, I guess, for you guys. A little bit of a rant story. Um, yeah, but I used to picture Golduck being like really weird, kind of like chubbier. Like he looks better in this because he's not like chubby, but like I feel like uh, back then he looked like really chubby and stuff and like really awkward. Oh my goodness, we have to fight a Tentacruel. These things are bulky as all... Oh, and nope, we one-shot them anyways. I, you know, there was a crit, so that might be why, but I was thinking, like, you know, that light ball is really doing a lot for us. Or it was just the crit. I don't know. The world will never know. So I'm pretty much just going around battling everybody. Um, come on, don't play with me like this. I'm going to run into this because I think it's a Whalmer, and it's really the only thing we can catch here that we haven't already caught, so... We're about to find out, are you a Whalmer? No, you're a Tentacool. We already caught one of you. What did we name the one that we caught? Uh, cool, 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 Tentacool. I don't know what we named the one that we got. I have no clue. So that doesn't count as our first encounter, because we've already encountered one of those before. 
Let's go battle. Double bat. Oh, no. That's right. Double battle. Oh, man. That was a big boo-boo. I fully expect Delta to die here. Let's see. Helper and Wish Cash. I mean, neither of these can really do too much, although they are going to be like 12 levels over us or more. So we're about to find out if I just made a grave mistake or not. Will that hit both? No. Well, this hit. This hits everyone. That'll kill Delta. Oh no. Um. I guess our only option is to go for. Let's go for an icicle crash first. Oh, oops. And then an air cutter. Oh, on both of them. Perfect. Yeah, because Icicle Crash will still do a decent amount because it's flying type, so... How's that do? Eh, not great. That's good. It doesn't affect uh, Delta, but it's gonna... Oh my gosh, it KO'd Quinette. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These two... Ugh. We just got the light ball for you, Quinette. It's like I can't catch a break when it comes to this final pair. It's like they always die. I don't know what's wrong with this. They just, they're so cursed. I mean, we might be able to salvage Delta. Um, if we bring out, okay, who's the best one to bring out here? One of them has Earthquake, so I have a feeling to probably bring out Salvatore here. Um, for that immunity, yeah. Let's bring out Salvatore for the for the immunity to the Earthquake. I can't believe that thing was packing Earthquake. That's just... Oh, it's so wrong. Alright, you know what? Let's not even go for Fly, because that gives them more time to do, do some good damage to us. Let's go for the Poison Fang, and then go for an Air Cutter again. Hopefully we can take this Pelipper down. Oh my goodness, come on. And we get the Poison at least, so there's that. And he only stockpiled, so that's good. You're definitely dead next turn, which is really good. Can't believe we lost Quinette. Please attack. Yeah, okay, there you go, there you go. You can take that still, though. That's fine. And then the maybe the poison might finish you off this turn. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. It doesn't even finish you off. Ugh. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Okay, we'll go for the Wish Cash. And then we'll go for... Um, do you have a quick attack? No, you don't. Let's just go for, for this again. Oh, goodness. Because, um... Poison should finish you off this turn there, plus the air cutter. You know, like, the combination of those two moves should be enough to take down this Pelipper. I can't believe how many Pokemon I've lost during this LP. Like, it's gotta be going on, like... Wait, how are you gaining health? Am I missing something? Stockpile, regain health? I didn't think that was the case. Didn't think that was the case. Alright, let's go for another one. Go for another one. <laughs> this is taking forever, This this little battle here. Oh my gosh, it did nothing. So... Yeah, so, okay. That didn't recover your health. How did you recover health before? I'm really confused about that. Okay, well, we took down the Pelipper, which is great. I have no idea how you gained health before. I wasn't paying attention. So, Delta might make it through this. Unfortunately, losing Quinette, which was the whole... was the important one here... I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Okay, let's just go for one more bite on Wish Cash. That should be enough. And then we'll go for a Metal Claw. Just to really make sure that you go down this turn. Okay, you're good. You're down. Oh my goodness. Quinette. Ugh. Why, Quinette? Why? Oh, almost level 23. Ugh, it's your fault we lost, Sam. You're in trouble later. That's the worst mom ever. Or is that a sister? I don't know. I'm sorry, Salvatore. One more gym, I promise, and we'll get you there. We'll get you there, buddy. One more gym. One more gym. Alright, so it's time to put... Um, ugh, I can't believe this. It's time to put Delta in the back of the party, along with Quinette, because that's just... Ugh. Ugh. What are we going to do? Alright, so you are 41, so you're our lowest now, so we want to train you up. Um, yeah, that makes sense. That'll work. I can't even believe that. I should have... Oh, I should have known. I should have known. I just figured Quinette could handle any water type. 
ever, but of course there's a wish cache rock and earthquake. It's like, what are the odds, man? What are the odds? Is there a way that I can go this way? No. Nope. Alright, so I was trying to get to that little land I saw, but I guess I guess we can't go over there. Oh, we could have passed star you in that past route. There's also um what's your McCollum's here? Ten of Cruels, but we already have a Ten of Cools, so it doesn't matter. But it's still kind of cool to see Ten of Cruel. If you get my drift there, it kind of rhymes, and plus it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? We don't need to go into detail. Um, let's see. Is it going to be a Whalmer? No, it's a Pelipper. We have a Wingle, so Pelipper does not count either, unfortunately. Um, run away from you, you stupid bird that just got my other Pokemon killed. Ugh, I'm not happy with you. Alright, so have we gone down here yet? So this is Route 126. So we can catch something here as well, I believe. Ugh, man, I don't even want to battle trainers anymore. I'm just worried about it. So pretty much, I guess what this episode's gonna be, it's gonna be me clearing out all of these trainers. Um, down here, I just want to fight them all, get some levels and stuff. I was like, oh, first I was there, I was like, I didn't put Miss Bowie up first, did I? No, it's, it's the Azumarill here, so. Ugh, all is dandy. Let's go for the Gunk Shot, which almost always misses. It's awful. It is awful how much Gunk Shot misses. It's like 90% of the time it will miss. And it actually hit that time, and it's super effective. So I could have probably just went for Sludge Bomb, actually, now that I think about it. Probably still would have did the job, but that's fine. Gunk Shot is super powerful. And look at that, we got a nice level 42 on you, 44 on Miss Bowie, and 23 on Miss, or on Delta, almost said Miss Delta, and it's a boy, so that's really strange. Um, Peck or Air Cutter? Let's get rid of Peck. Actually, let's get rid of Fury Attack, makes more sense. So get rid of that Fury Attack for that Swift. Swift is a nice move, hits all the targets, and never misses, right? Pretty sure it never misses. So that should be good. Look at all this deep water. Oh my goodness, what's going on, brah? What's going on, brah? Let's fight you. Look at him, flexing his muscles. He's like, oh, I'm so, I'm so tough. I'm so tough. All right, now that, that is a tough Pokemon, actually. So now I'm a little bit nervous. We've got that Intimidate going. Um, shoot. I mean, let's try a Rock Tomb. Only reason I say Rock Tomb is because you're part flying, so I just want to see how this does. Let's see how much damage this does. It does a decent amount despite being intimidated, plus it lowers your speed, so that's great. Um, I'm just worried that we'll miss a Gunk Shot, so I'm going to keep going for these Rock Tombs. Yeah, okay, one more and you should be down. Your speed fell again. Here comes the Aqua Tail. Can we take this? Holy... Budge. Let's go for another rock tomb and just KO this guy before he has the chance to do anything to us. You are out of here. If it wasn't for those drops in speed from those rock tombs, you probably would not have been making it out of here alive today. But it's okay. It's okay. Chernobyl's got it. He's, he's good. He's all good, man. Um, man, these trainers are actually getting a lot harder than I expected. Um, because so far in this game, I felt like it's been really easy. But now we're getting to these people who just like are giving us the hardest of times and I'm not happy about it I'm not happy about it whatsoever let's get the lemonade out for uh, I noticed that um, Salvatore here is running low on HP too so there we go that's good all right all right by the way I actually oh 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 ah, it's Pelipper who cares nobody cares about you Pelipper Nobody wants a Pelipper. I mean, they're not that bad, but they're not that great either. I mean, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm just mad because the last battle that we had with a Pelipper, something very bad happened. <clears throat> I can't believe that still. That's, oh, oh, I shouldn't have scared that way. It was probably a Whelmer. Most likely a Whalmer. Can I fit through there? I squeeze through. Norsey. Norsey squeeze through. I guess not. Can I wear um these while up? Nope. Nope, I can't. Alright, my father says something. Oh, you know what? Weren't we supposed to go back to Norman? 
I feel like we were supposed to go back to Norm. Oh, no, that was for the Eon ticket. I finally picked up my Eon ticket, by the way. I know one of you guys mentioned that in the comments before, that I should pick up my Eon ticket. Um, I didn't know if you thought maybe it might disappear or something. Look, at she's got a Crobat. What's up with that? What's up with that? Um, this actually kind of scares me a little bit. Definitely scares me a bit. Let's go for the Rock Tomb again, just like we did for the Gyarados. Poison Fang, you know, that's not really going to do much, though. So I guess I shouldn't be really that afraid. It's just the fact that our Golbat's so powerful. I figured this thing's probably pretty powerful, too. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, somebody told me to get the Eon Ticket. So I finally got the Eon Ticket. Oh my goodness, in a crit. I'm not okay with this. We should be faster now. We should be faster. So you know what I'm going to do, just to be sure... I'm going to potion first, um, and then next turn use Rock Tomb. But I'm pretty sure we should be faster after two of those. And plus he just used Haze. What's that going to do? So we should be fine now, which is good, um, to go ahead and just get this final Rock Tomb off. Oh, no, he is faster. Okay, well, we it wasn't a crit this time, so it didn't do quite as much damage, so I feel good there. Plus, we're going to get a decent amount of uh, XP from this Crobat. I was going to say a decent amount of Crobe Crobat from this XP. Um, but yeah, so that was actually a pretty good amount. I really thought we were going to get more than that, though. 2,000 is not bad, though. Not a bad at all. Let's go ahead and lemonade you up. There we go, 67 points. It's pretty dang powerful lemonade right there. Where else can we go in this ocean? What are you? What are you? It's a tentacruel. We don't need you. We have a tentacruel already. Why aren't the Whalemers showing themselves? Oh my gosh, look at this dude. Cowbunga, man. Cowbunga. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my edge just drifting along with these waves. Alright, dude. I, I think that's pretty skilled right there. I don't know if I could do that. So, like stand on this Pokemon's back. Actually, I don't even know if I want to stand on my Pokemon's back. What Pokemon could be? Okay, we have to see what a second Pokemon is. Because if he's standing on a Vibrabus back and it looked like that in the water, it just makes no sense. Um. Oh um, no. Okay, he went for Bug Buzz. All right, we got to switch out of here. Um, because I just know I just realized that you could have used like Earth Power or something and completely screwed us over. We got really lucky right there. Really, really lucky. So out comes trouble. Here comes a sandstorm. What a sand sandstormer! Seriously, what a sandstormer! Uh, I love Vibrava though. I'm really, I'm really jealous. I want to use one of these so bad. I love Flygon. He's like one of my favorite Pokemon of this generation. And one bite. One bite strikes again, man. He's just so powerful. Or she. She's she's so powerful. Trouble's so powerful. Um, and we're buffeted by the Sandstorm. So who's your second Pokemon? I want to know who you are surfing on. You are surfing on a Rhydon right now. In the water. That makes total, total sense. Absolutely. 100% total sense. Not at all. Not at all. So, uh, this Rhydon actually kind of scares me a little bit. Um, because the number of things this could do and the number of things I can't do to it. I don't think one bite's gonna work here. Okay, we avoided the attack, which is great. Um, so I think, you know, two more crunches should put you down. Unless we're able to get the crit right here. Can we get the crit? No, but we do get the defense drop, which would have been nice the first turn. Oh, are you going to kill yourself? Oh, no, you didn't. Dang. Dang, dude. I wish that you took Sandstorm damage because this battle will be over right now. But you don't. So you know what? I'm just gonna bite you, finish you off. I'm so much. I'm so happy the trouble outspeeds you right now. That's such a good thing. Um, well, I guess it makes sense because you're kind of like a big Pokemon. Plus, we're level 46. Holy crud! Trouble is such a high level. My goodness. I didn't realize how high of a level you are, Trouble. You are probably the highest level in here, I guess. That's awesome, Trouble. To think that we caught you on the first route. A route, whatever you say. I don't know. I like. I don't know. You guys, let me know down below how you pronounce it. Um, I pronounce it different every time. Sometimes to say root, sometimes to say route. I don't even know. I don't know why. I have no idea. Can't make up my mind. I guess. So now we are on Route 127. My goodness, how many routes are out here? 
This is insane, and we still haven't even encountered a new Pokemon to catch. Um, so we'll have to come back to these routes to do that sometime. Alright, hopefully we can find some sort of land soon, because I feel like we're supposed to be landing sometime soon here. Um, I think that we'll be okay in this battle. I'm not positive. Uh, I don't really know what I can do to you, though. Let's see what a gunk shot will do. Bubble shouldn't do too much. Yeah, I didn't think so. Gunk shot probably won't do much either. Ooh. Ooh, not very effective, and look at how much damage it did. Alright, now let's go for a rock tomb. Don't... Okay, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. All right, Rock Tomb, finish the job. Yes, it does. Very nice. It's that high attack stat. It's like that 102 attack stat, whatever it's at now. Salvatore growing to level freaking 45. Delta growing to 25. This is an awesome day of training right here. Out in the ocean. Sorry, Salvatore. You know what we should do? We should just go to that gym and get the badge already so we can let Salvatore evolve. I think that we're going to have to go do that. I'm sorry, Salvatore, buddy. So let's just skip all these trainers for now. We can come back to them um, to evolve Salvatore once we can actually do that. So let's find where we're supposed to go. Here's a nice item. Pick that up. Got ourselves a zinc. Maybe I should look at my map, my town map. Let's see where we're supposed to be going. So I think we sort of passed it. All right, so we have to go backward to Route 126 and then up to 24. Four, and then across to Moss Deep. Um, I assume we're not supposed to go to Sutopolis yet. Yeah, although we might be able to. Can I just skip and go right there to the Pokemon League? That'd be insane. But I think we're going to head back. Um, we're going to head back to Moss Deep because I'm pretty sure that's where we're supposed to go. And I sort of went off track here. So we'll come back and fight these trainers um, when, I, when I want to evolve Salvatore. Because they'll be good for, for training up. So we're going to head up straight. And that should bring us to Moss Deep. Very nice. Okay, here we go. We are in Moss Deep City. Oh my gosh, wait a second. Deja vu. I don't know if you guys played the, the demo of this game. Um, but yeah, this is where you played in, in the demo of Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. You met up with Steven here in Moss Deep. And uh, kind of goofed around with him a bit. So, that's kind of cool. Get to see this again. I kind of forgot that it was Moss Deep that we were in before. Um, so we got that item. I don't think there's anything over that way. There might be. I'll get it later if there is. I just sort of want to heal up and also say goodbye to... He was Whalmer watching. You got to let me know where those Whalmers are because that's the only Pokemon I can catch out there and I didn't see it. All right, so here we go. We're going to organize our boxes and say goodbye to Gwinnett. Look at... Oh, it's like they're all, they're all so cursed. It's like Machoke and they were, Machoke and Quinnett were partners, and then don't even get me started on. Oh my gosh! And then there was Astro and Nada Nada. Oh, such a bad trainer, guys. I'm such a bad trainer. Um, all right. Well, you know what? Let's say uh, say our farewells. So I just want to see if there's any items on any of these Pokemon. No, there isn't. I'll take your item off of you then. Although we probably won't be using it again since it's a light ball, but it's time to say farewell to Quinnette. Take one final look at her, actually. Nope. Nope. There we go. Oh, it's giving me the hardest time, Quinnette. Oh, I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss that dress and that, that Pikachu. Look at the way their, her cheeks glue. <laughs> Alright. Goodbye, Quinnette. <clears throat> Hi, have you got a minute? I just saw the contest spectacular, and I just realized that I'm also a girl. So I'm going to talk a lot higher pitch. Cosplay Pikachu is a special Pikachu that everyone in the fashion will blah 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 blah. And we got a Pikachu. Um, I guess that counts as our encounter for this town. Um, I was not...
Let's count how many Pokemon we've lost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've lost nine Pokemon this LP. Oh, that's so bad. That's really bad. It's a lot harder when you can't evolve your Pokemon, though. Although, oh, let's see how many of these were non-evolved Pokemon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, actually, a good portion of them were not evolved Pokemon, which, oh my god, oh my goodness, I can't even believe that. Well, it's time to look for a new Pokemon already um, to partner up with Delta here. Um, so it needs to be a girl. Let's take a look at all of our female Pokemon. We got Wanderer, Ludi, Tumble, Smelly. By the way, I'm just going to do it now. I'm going to release um, Tumble now that we're here because I was told that Tumble was an illegal Pokemon. I went back to the desert to double check that that was the case, and it is the same area, so I went ahead right now and just deleted or removed from the PC. So they're not technically dead, they're just out there in the wild again, released. Um, so we can't use you. So it's uh, between Wanderer, Ludi, Smelly, Leviathan, oh, sorry, not Leviathan, you're a male, Invisibru, which is a <laughs> girl apparently, I've named it a boy name, BP, Bonnie, Huggin, uh, no, you can't be used, Stormy, Raven, Head Pain. So, um, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Okay, so Raven, you're level 30, Bonnie, you're level 27. I kind of really want to use Bonnie, so I think I'm going to take Bonnie. I've never used a, um, I have never used this Pokemon before, Shuppet slash, uh, I can't remember your evolution name right now. Third gen, apparently, is just, like, gone in my mind for the most part. I have no idea why, but we're taking Bonnie with us because I love the idea of taking Bonnie with us. Um, let's take a look at you, actually. See what your nature is and stuff. Um, you've got a... Ooh. Is that a bad nature? Lonely nature. Puts up attack, lowers defense. I th actually sort of think that you're more of a physical attacker now that I think about it anyways, but I'm not positive, so... I don't know, we'll wait and see. I'm going to heal up my Pokemon right now. Um, and uh, that's going to be it for this episode. We've got uh, another death, Quinette, which is really sad. Um, but we're finally here in Moss Deep City, so we can get that. Does Moss Deep have a gym? I believe Moss Deep ha does have a gym. So we can get that gym badge, evolve Salvatore, and... Or maybe we should evolve Bonnie now. Oh my goodness, how do you evolve Bonnie? Is it a dust stone? I'm going to look all that stuff off, up off screen, but I will see you guys all in the next one. Till then, stay frosty. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button down below to show your support. And uh, I hope to see you guys all in the next one. Till then, peace out.